hello oh my god it's like my first like vlog into the real world again my hair is a mess i literally it's still my wedding hairspray here i am looking for food <laughs> i'm looking for food we had a quiche we had a breakfast quiche we had a brunch here yesterday so we have a lot of leftover food we had a pizza from last night it's like three days after the wedding and we've just been like in bliss like it really is like you're into this marital bliss, like truly. Um, so I'm trying to find something to eat because Moses is out for the day just for a little bit. He'll be back for the little There's so much hairspray in my hair still. And so, um, I think I look better before I look, okay, I don't know. I hope I look, I look crazy. But it's like, now that the wedding's over, I was so strict and like, I still don't want to go back to eating cheese, but like, I kind of want to give myself like a couple cheat days, you know, because it's the wedding and like, I mean, it's, it's still soft. Um, Mm. These are from brunch. I'm playing water or something about making mac and cheese. Mmm. Mm. Literally, I just want to work out again. <laughs> I'm just so on high. When you change your diet drastically, it is crazy how like, look, oh, I can splurge, you know, but what do I even want to splurge on? Hmm. I'm going to talk to somebody. <laughs> I just went to my mom's and sister's and that for a while. But I need to come home and shower, so. Give me food. We're going to go live when Moses comes home. Because we've been posting writing content. Like, we've been so high off, like, we've made sure our videographers gave us, like, all the raw footage. Like, literally, we gave them a hard drive. And, like, can you give us all the raw footage? And they were super cool. And they're like, yeah, of course. They're going to edit the video. But, I mean, like, photographers and videographers, like, it takes six to eight weeks. Actually, our photographers did get us some photos, like, the next day. But I was like, I want to post now. And we will post the official wedding video, too. But we want to, like, respond and, like, interact in real time. Because everyone's been so freaking nice. Um, like just saying congratulations stuff. Like everyone's really, really nice. Like I don't know. It, it's been really good. And I, I do I think that's a testimony to like oh, can you even see me? You can't see me. I think I'm gonna make mac and cheese. To the vi the vibrations being real. Does mac and cheese like expire? I've like popped all mac and cheese in the for literally ever. I know we'll probably go to dinner tonight because we've been like eating out and like going to dinner and I don't know if it ever expires so. But I think it's true. Oh man, it expired September 6th. Yeah, that's how it expired. Hmm. <laughs> I was kind of like really into this. I can't eat expired mac and cheese. That's just. I don't think you have heavy working food. Yeah, I had to eat. I'm kind of excited about that. That did not work out for me, did it? I'm just like a little snack hound. It's not open as a sign. 
Oh no, I don't think he did. That's weird. Were they already open? Oh, he did. He must have one of his tea. We got these before the wedding, and I was like, I really want to eat these so bad. Mmm. Mmm. I can have butter noodles with like It's like green green noodles. I never not know what to eat. I feel like I'm like a mini Z. Mm. I don't ever had it. Let's see again. I don't know what to eat. It doesn't look like I have any whipping cream. We do have a little ricotta. I kind of like a little ZD. It does sound good. I don't think this is relatively January 15th. It expires perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna make a tiny one. I just want something yummy in my tummy. Big CD in so long. I was gonna be jealous. <laughs> but I just think we're gonna eat eat something good, you know? Like eat something you like. So for big ZD, we have ricotta, which is do we have parmesan? Mm -hmm. Is that a block of parmesan? It's our brunch still. Very cool, but I love this sweatshirt because it's like really, really warm and cozy. Not a sad boy promo, but sadboydailyby.com. It seriously feels like a blanket, which is amazing. Okay, so. Oh, my gosh. There's the shells. I'm just looking. So we've got a little bit of Tony in there. Oh, and the sauce. There is a mini prego here. Oh, that's fire mac and cheese, okay. There's a mini prego. I'm not prego, I got my freaking period today. I thought maybe, it, hey, at least it delayed. It was supposed to come like the day of my wedding, so. At least it delayed a little. Okay. October 11th. Big yeah, I so I'm not. I obviously ate meat at my wedding, um, and it was like what it was just like. I don't know, just describe it. Like it just kind of was there, so I ate it. But I'm not like super like. Oh, I want to start eating meat again. Like I don't. And cheese is like. I don't. I don't miss it. Like my skin is really good, so it's like I probably will eat this cheese, and I bet you my skin will break out in like a couple days. But I don't miss it. That's like, I kind of just want to eat some foods that I've been missing, I guess. But we'll see. We'll see if it does good. Maybe it's not. Open. Yeah. We'll see. But yeah, I feel like when you operate at such a vibration of like true love, like true love and a true happiness, 
and true peace like i feel like everything else like the, the universe starts vibrating with you for real and i've actually like feel it like all the comments are so love like full of love and i was like i'm gonna go live and like talk with you guys because like this is the this is the vibrations i want to put out this is the energy i want to put out to everybody is just like love and be loved you know like the more love you give the more you're, you're putting out so You know what, baked ziti actually does take a while to bake. I'll probably have to put this into two parts. Cheese, real quick. Yeah. Life has been good. Once you're married, it's like, I don't know. Maybe we're just so high at the wedding, but everything just like feels good. We just, I've just been like, wow, we're freaking married. Wedding ring, wedding band, right there. Isn't this cool? I think like we haven't shown this close up yet. fits perfect so when you push it down it almost looks like i'll show you it elongates cool right that makes the diamond bigger and this is what i season my sauce with we do garlic pepper italian seasoning and red crushed pepper and it's just super delicious this one over here when i spray that with pan It's like whipping up baked ziti. I went from box mac and cheese to freaking baked ziti. I am all about that. I always thought like when people were married for a really long time, I was like, I was like, wow, 30 years, that's a long time. But like, it doesn't seem like, honestly, I thought about it the other day and I was like, that's not like long enough. It like made me sad. I was thinking like only 30 years, like, no, I, I won't accept that. So I manifested 40, 45 years for both of us. And then we passed away together with our kids surrounding us and just, and really just going into the next chapter, the next level. I think we level up when we die, truly. <sighs> we level up for sure. So. Put a bit more sauce in the fridge before I open up a new bottle. I'm going to toss some sauce in there.
So now we got our cheese. This. Warm up this pan real quick. Just warm this up. Hello. Married life. I'm freaking married. <laughs> it actually does feel different in the best way. I was like, dang. We're married now. We are married. We're gonna talk about this on the live, but I'll talk about it real quick here too. So. Okay, I think that's enough sauce. No. Oh, I usually get it so clean. We have paper towels. What eggs have paper towels? We have a little tool thing, and I got a little story time. Oh, here it is. So, everyone thinks, oh my god, like the runaway groom story. Here we go. So, everyone thinks. There's like a clip going around. We just see it on TikTok. You know, I really literally have been on social media. I made a conscious decision to not be on social media like, before my wedding. And not really. I mean, because I was on Twitter. But like definitely like the, the days leading up to it, like rehearsal. We were just so busy. Like it wouldn't have been possible anyways to be on there. But I was seeing something like that on TikTok. There's a scrolling and it's like Trisha got married. And or someone's like she held... Um, Moses hostage. So basically, Moses was telling a story like the night after, and like I was confused. I was also really like I was confused. It was like my mom had told me too. Like he went out to go get shirts because they're they're under shirts so their tux didn't fit, so he had to go out and get it. And when he's gonna get the car at the valet, like the, the valet wouldn't let him have the car. And that's why I was like even asking in the clip. I'm like, who said that? Like who told you that? Like that's like so weird. Or who who said to not give you the car? Like that's what we were trying to figure out. And he's like, she just said, don't take the car. You can't have the car. So. It could have been like we had a contact at the hotel we had obviously planners and stuff so we're like and then i'm like was it a joke like was it i obviously like it's so crazy but it's like this was so crazy but the fact that that's what this spiraled with i was like there's actually two one right groom things so i was like that's actually so crazy that people like oh my gosh she's so insecure that she like told him not to take the car like do you really think i like for an instant for a second that i didn't think moses would show up the wedding moses like took over the wedding in the best way because i was so overwhelmed like really like three weeks out i was so wrong he, he did everything he finished the wedding completely like it, i was overwhelmed i was very frustrated there was like a lot happening i got overwhelmed I literally saved the day like there was not a doubt like but again this is why this is why i really can't be on social media in general because it really just will drive me nuts like we went to the wedding and everyone was every single person every single person we had like the same amount of guests he had like 60 i had 60 or it's like 60 and 70 Everyone was so nice to all. Everyone was so happy. Like it was such a joyous time. Like there was just, everybody was just like the love you guys have where you just see it. And it was like, oh, okay. Cause you know, and again, there's trolls on the internet. So like, well, why am I even on the internet? People being like, you know, like, or reading comments of like, oh my God, they look miserable. Today. Like, you know, that's what gets in your head. And you know, obviously I'm, we're, we're together day in, day out. So he's like, okay, it doesn't, we know how we are. But I was like, I'd be like, wow, she can't trust him on the wedding. I'm like, what? Like, what? I bought a house with this person, married this person. Like, I just, I just more more than anything. Like, I literally, like, I, I, he, like, secretly recorded a song for me. He, like, he had to, like, make up a story about where he was going one day. And I, like, didn't even notice. Or I was, I never think about it. He's like, oh, well, I thought you'd be, like, suspicious. I was, like, literally never think about it. Like, I trust him so wholeheartedly. Like, that's why I married him. And he's my husband. Um... But yeah, it wasn't me. I don't know why, how that got spun. I guess because like, she said, don't take the car. But they weren't referring to me. And we still don't even know who said that. And the only thing we can kind of think of is we had to don't park our car in the front of the hotel. Um, I mean, we love Four Seasons. It's Four Seasons Westlake Village. And we like love there. We go there. And a lot of times they'll park our car in front of the hotel. And like, not a problem. We actually like that. It's very easy to take the car. But for the actual wedding, I just don't want my car out front. People kind of knew the location and date and we had a lot of security so i don't like as far as i know there wasn't any issues i had like our personal security like i have two personal security guards and then that were with me the entire time always had eyes on me they were like so good and then we had obviously the four season security which they had like the head of security there they took us through back ways like the kitchen so no one saw and then um 
our event planner hires uh, security for each entrance and doors and it was it just felt really safe and really great so I think the only thing we think of is like the Four Seasons said maybe like don't park her car in front or something that's what we gathered hold on let me salt and pepper this ish out Get some garlic powder so I don't know but again people just need to like think of draw they, you know I don't know but again I don't listen to even trolls it's like People were so, oh, that was it? That was the wedding? I'm like, like it's just so crazy how people just, what standard do you want? You know what I mean? Like, it's just, but you really, that's why I just, you really can't please everyone. And you sure as hell won't please the internet. So I was like, really don't even try. But, and I really don't care. Like, it was so perfect and so wonderful. So it's like, that's why I'm like, okay. But like, it's been great. Like, the comments have been great. That's why I've been reading comments. But the, like, a little bit, the only thing, like, naysayers can say is like oh she held him hostage she has no choice like the fact that people even believe that is so funny like that's the narrative but that's what people people just want to hear what they want to hear and they just want to um yeah they hear what they want to hear basically I'm seasoning the heck out of this sauce And then the other one was, because <laughs> I saw it on TikTok. Oh, that's hot. I saw on TikTok the one of, they're like, why did Moses run away? And I was like, wait, are they talking about that thing? Because that's what I thought. I was like, okay, we'll just address this. But I mean, I saw that too. But at the altar, so that's like a whole other thing. And again, we're doing a live tonight, so Moses will be here to like give his perspective on all this. <laughs> but they're like, why did Moses run at the altar? And I was like, why are you talking about? And I was like, the stairs. I'm going to drain this pasta maybe. I'm going to drain this pasta so I can start doing the ricotta. Hold one second, please. So we're done with the seasoning. sauce on the bottom layer to make this easy and then I'm gonna have it in there for like a half hour I think because we just really want to get it well done and baked keep some sauce aside a littler pan sometimes the pan's a little deeper there's a little bit of ricotta and then usually usually I kind of mix it but I'm gonna put the sauce over top of it so I'm gonna actually just pour this onto here um, fun size one for me over. Just 
looks so good. I almost just made this with the sauce because the sauce is like really yummy here. And let's spread with the noodles around. So we get all the sauce. Okay. So each sauce is just yum. And then take some macaros. Put it on. These actually look so freaking good. I was gonna go get food, but I was like, you know, I make really good food, so I'm just chill. Mm -hmm. One more scoop over here. Cool. Man. All right, so it's all done on top of all of it. Mm. Yeah, I've had like cheese, cheese. Like I said, at the wedding, I had beef and bacon. And for, um, but again, that's not something I like want to get in the habit of doing. But, you know, I just, I try my best with it, you know. But I am going to go back to my vegetarian diet because I just like the way I felt and my skin. And I'm on a high right now, so I'm not really feeling it. But, all right. So, and then I think we just kind of mix all that in. Bring some of the noodles up, over. The noodles get nice and crispy. That's the secret. Maybe it doesn't look as pretty, but. All right, so this is actually gonna bake for about 20 minutes. It's actually like less, so. Yeah. All right, there we go. So, and there it is, and we are going to Put it in the oven, which has been going this whole time. And it's set to 450, so we're gonna put it in for 20 minutes. And when we come back, I will give you the Moses run running away from me, part two. Because you know we love a clickbait vlogmas. All right. We are we are close, y'all. I think it's done. It smells so freaking good. Bring it on out. Oh, yes, this smells freaking amazing. Let me get another one because we're gonna need two mitts. No pun intended. So here we go. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Show you a better, better look. And then we are going to serve it on up, but yeah, that looks so good. Get a bowl. I'm so ready to eat this. A little scoop right here. A little scoop of ziti. Wow. It's like steaming. sit down and do a little mukbang. Should we set the table? That would make sense to eat, right? Yes. Okay. Fork. So let's talk my runaway run away groom story number two so funny that's like even insider who like insider is literally the trashiest like of all the all the publications insider never gets their facts right like anyone who works for insider like literally is like the biggest flop anyways they were like he was referring to paytas holding the car hot like telling him not to take the car so funny i'm like just glad that i'm here like the internet would be <laughs> would be so boring what would people talk about without me i love it okay so the second one 
it was a TikTok where I'm walking down the aisle. Moses looking at me, I finished my walk down the aisle, it was a really short aisle. And I was like, why did Moses just run away? He's going to the side of the stage because in rehearsal, we had the stairs in the front to go up the stage. And they moved them at the ceremony to around to like the right of the stage. So Moses had told me they had instructed him to um, help me, you know, like help me around. I mean, I had, I wore sneakers, thank God, because I actually just like jumped <laughs> like off the front. I mean, it wasn't high by stage, but the center of the stage after it was over. Oh, my dress was so huge. Taking a turn, my dress was all, it was, it was, I needed to go straight up and have it laid out. Instead, it was like all bunched up and whatever, not a big deal. But he wasn't running away. He was literally running. He was running to come help me up the stage. But I swear it's always something. Mmm. This is so good. So I did a little TikTok story time. <laughs> I need this. But the internet is a very funny place. Mmm. Good. but anyways let me tell you if you ever on the fence about marriage which i never was if you're ever on the fence about marriage just do it it's freaking amazing can i turn for men I just miss him. <laughs> He's gone. Mm. But I should have made the whole thing. This is really good. I should have, would have. But you're not. I feel like I haven't done a mukbang in so long. You know what? I just wasn't even like enjoying my food. Like I like doing this when I have like it's just me by myself eating. Like it's really fun to chat and talk with someone, but when it feels like a job where you have to. And then you want to go out and eat. I don't know. I also eat a lot of the same food, so I feel like it's kind of boring. I've done a big Z one before. But I could eat this every day with y'all. It's so crunchy. Mmm. I should keep it in the oven for him. Is that the ultimate wifey goals? Is like keeping food in the oven? Because he said he was on his way home. I'm gonna do that. Anyways, guys, thanks for cooking and like eating some ziti with me. I'm gonna go put the ziti in the oven and do some dishes and take a shower but i love you guys so much thanks for watching um yeah don't believe rumors or do i guess i don't know i guess i feel flattered people care so much to literally just like follow every move and make up like people like literally like it's crazy like the people that dislike you the most are the ones that follow you like the hardest and they like post like right away it's like i don't know about you but when i don't like someone i gotta just Keep it moving. <laughs> I do not have that energy or that power to waste. Love you guys so much. I'm freaking married. Oh my god, I'm married. It feels so good. I'm married. We did it, y'all. We did it. <laughs> All right, love you guys. See you in the next video.